I am Brian Lee Durfee, author of The Forgetting Moon, The Blackest Heart, and The Lonesome Crown, all published by Simon & Schuster Saga Press today. We are going to take a tour of my other half of my library that's got my westerns, my historical fiction, my thrillers, and my mysteries. You can find my other tour videos where I tour, give you a library tour of my biographies, my classics, my nonfiction. Then I've got another tour where I give you a tour of all my science fiction, my fantasy, and my horror. But for this video, we're going to be focusing on this side of the library. And so let's get to it. Let's not waste any time. Let's start over here in my Western section with my Tony Hillerman, Lephorn and Chi mystery novels. I've reviewed a few of these on my channel. They're mysteries set on the Navajo Nation. And just, just remember, as I go through a lot of these, you're gonna see that I've got a lot of mystery series that are set in different parts of the world. And I do that on purpose because I love learning about different cultures and different parts of our country and the world. So these are my mystery. That's my mystery series set in the Navajo Nation in southern Utah, northern Arizona. If you want to learn about that part of the world, that's a good place to start. And then we've got my Craig Johnson mysteries. These are the, um, I don't know if you've been following this series the Longmire series on Netflix starring Katie Sackhoff. Some of you might be familiar with the Longmire series of, of Western mysteries set in Wyoming. That's what we've got there. Then, of course, we've got my big, huge Louis L'Amour collection. All these books I've been collecting since I was a kid. Then below that, we've got our Larry McMurtry Westerns, Lonesome Dove, Comanche Moon, Streets of Laredo, Dead Man's Walk. And you know, Larry McMurtry's also written some other great books like um, Texasville, The Last Picture Show, Terms of Endearment. Over here is the very last uh, Western guy I collect. I don't, as you can see, I only collect, I don't collect that many Western writers. But I do collect these guys, Louis L'Amour, Larry McMurtry, and then this guy here, Terry C. Johnstone. I love his stuff. And so down here, let's get into some of the historical fiction that I collect, starting with Con Igledon, War of the Roses, his Julius Caesar series here, which is magnificent. And then over here, we've got John Jakes, of course, with North and South, Love and War, Heaven and Hell. And then his Bastard series, chronicling the history of the United States through, through the Kent family, the eyes of the Kent family. So if you want to get a good, nothing will teach you more about the Revolutionary War or the Civil War, quite like that stack of books right there. Below that, we've got C.J. Sansom. His Nathaniel Shardlake mystery series. It's kind of like Name of the Rose, if you've ever watched that. And then over here, we've got Patrick O'Brien, Master and Commander. Seafaring Adventures. Another seafaring adventure author I collect is James L. Nelson. Good friend of mine. He signed all of those for me. Then down below, we've got Mr. Wilbur Smith. Wilbur Smith, all of his books set in... Africa. So if you want to learn about Africa, just pick up a Wilbur Smith adventure novel. Over here we've got Joseph Wamba, a mystery series set in Hollywood, California. Uh, pretty much it's a police procedural detailing of the, the Hollywood Police Department. So you've got Hollywood Hills, Hollywood Station, Hollywood Crows. Great, great series. Over here we've got Edward Rutherford, historical novels, along with James Michener, 
If you're familiar with these two writers, they're very similar. Big epic stories about all these different places. Paris, Ireland, London, Russia, Texas, Alaska, Poland, Hawaii. Up here we've got Stephen Saylor, his Gordinius the Finder series. Another mystery series set in ancient Rome. Remember that, folks. I buy a lot of mystery series set in different parts of the world and country just so I could learn about these places. So if you want to learn about ancient Rome, there you go. Here we've got a couple of my favorite female writers, Kristen Hanna and, of course, Gillian Flynn. Over here we've got Don Winslow, whose books are about the Mexican Mafia. Some of the most bloody, brutal gangster books you're ever going to find right there, folks. If you want to know everything about the drug trade and the damage it does to not only our country, but to Mexico, this will these those books will shock you. Okay, up here we've got... Um, my Ken Follett collection. You know I've reviewed a lot of the Ken Follett books. God, he's just a great historical novelist. And he's done these great thrillers like Eye of the Needle, Man from St. Petersburg. Up above there we've got Shogun, Noble House, Taipan, King Rat, Whirlwind. Everybody loves James Clavell. And now we branch over into my Bernard Cornwell section the saxon tales above the saxon tales we've got a whole shelf of bernard cornwell the saxon tales are about vikings that's about an archer stonehenge gallows eve red coat his king arthur series his civil war series then of course his big huge Sharps Rifles, set in the Napoleonic War. Of course, above that, we've got our Outlander series. Outlander. I've been collecting those for a while, too. Everybody knows about Outlander. Okay, so now let's get into some of... Right, this is the ugly part. Okay, let's talk about... Let's talk about the spines. I mean, I collect these uh, Inspector Morse books, which have pretty decent covers. I mean, they've all got pretty decent covers, but the spines, I mean, my God, could they be any worse? So the my Inspector Morse right here, mystery series set in England. My Billy Boyle series, which again... Mystery series set in World War II. Again, great covers, but the uh, spines are obnoxious. Then we've got my John Straley mysteries, and these are all set in Sitka, Alaska. That one up there, The Ghosts of Belfast, I have not read that one yet. But it's got the same problem as these other ones, and the spines are just horrible horrible so my john straley series is set in sitka alaska uh you know a detective solving murders in sitka below him we've got greg isles one of the greatest mystery writers of all time all of his thrillers and mysteries are set in natchez mississippi it might be alabama i get those two states confused Anyway, Greg Isles is a great writer. And then, of course, Richard Price, Clockers, Freedom Land. All of his mysteries are set in Brooklyn, New Jersey, Manhattan. Oh, and the writing is amazing. If you've ever watched The Wire, Richard Price is one of the writers of The Wire, the HBO's The Wire. And I'll bring that series up. I'll bring that HBO series up again in a minute. Then we got down here, we've got Jack Carr. Maybe you've seen my Jack Carr reviews. I reviewed all three of those thrillers. Great. And then Brad Thor. I've reviewed some Brad Thor thrillers. Then down here, we've got my, uh, sort of my liter literary fiction shelf, 
where we've got Winds of War by Herman Woke, The Kane Mutiny. We've got Pat Conroy books. I love Pat Conroy. He's a great writer. You know, The Prince of Tides. Then over here we've got Amor Towels, Gentleman in Moscow. We've got Caleb Carr, The Alienist. And then over here we've got John Irving. Love John Irving. Down below John Irving we've got John Le Carre. Another great Cold War thriller, spy thriller writer. And next to him, all of my Dan Brown Da Vinci Code books. Below Dan Brown, we've got Daniel Silva. If, you don't, if you're not familiar with Daniel Silva, Gabriel Allon is the main character. He's an art restoration expert. He restores art in England, and at the same time, he solves spy thriller mysteries. He's kind of like a James Bond. Then we've got I Am Pilgrim, and I am waiting for the sequel to that because that's a great thriller. And then we've got the uh, Martin Cruz Smith, Gorky Park, all these mysteries set in Moscow. Again, like I say, I like to learn about different parts of the world. And the best way to do it is with these, just reading thrillers and mysteries set in different parts of the world, like Moscow. Over here we got my Robert Ludlum Born Identity, The Red Sparrow, my Elmore Leonard collection. Now, Elmore Leonard, if you want to read the closest, well, actually, if you've ever watched the Jackie Brown by Quentin Tarantino, that is based off of an Elmore Leonard book. And Elmore Leonard is Quentin Tarantino's favorite writer. Also, if you've watched um, Raylan Givens, from Justified. Yeah, Justified was based off of those three books right there. Justified starring Timothy Oliphant. So that gives you an idea of kind of what Elmore Leonard writes. Then, of course, we got my big Tom Clancy collection. I love Tom Clancy. Then my Nelson DeMille, John Corey who solves mysteries in Long Island, one of the great mystery series. And then, of course, Michael Connolly, Harry Bosch, the Lincoln lawyer, mysteries set in California. And up above him, we've got my Peter Robertson. Peter Robinson, Alan Banks mysteries. They're set in York, England. Then we move across to Anne Cleves, a mystery series set in Shetland, that's Shetland, not Shetland. Shetland, Scotland. Dana Stabenow, another mystery series set up in Alaska. Elizabeth George, one of my favorite, favorite writers of all time. Her mystery series is set in England. Then my favorite female author of all time, Donna Tartt, Goldfinch. We've got Ian Rankin. His mystery series is set in... Edinburgh, Scotland. Then we got Dennis Lehane. His mysteries are set in Boston. If you've watched Mystic River, Shutter Island, Gone Baby Gone. Over next to Dennis Lehane, we've got George Pelicanos. His mysteries are set in Washington, D.C. Now, George Pelicanos, Dennis Lehane, they also were screenwriters for HBO's The Wire. So if you liked that so show, The Wire, it was written by George Pelicanos, Dennis Lehane, and my guy over here, Richard Price. So those three guys collaborated on The Wire. So that gives you an idea of what they write. Again, set in Boston, set in Washington, D.C., then by James Lee Burke collection, his novels are set, his mystery, his Robichaux mysteries are set down in New Orleans. Carl Hyassen, his mysteries are set in Florida and they're funny. He's a comedic writer. If you ever watched the uh, movie Strip Tease with Denny, Demi Moore and Burt Reynolds, that gives you an idea. Then my Robert B. Parker, Spencer, Spencer novels. Another private investigator 
set in Boston. Hanning Mankell. Hanning Mankell, his, his are set in Sweden or Finland. I, Alabama and Mississippi, I can't keep those two states straight. Sweden and Finland are the same. I have no idea. But just know that those books are mysteries set in one of either Sweden or Finland. Tana French, all of her mysteries are set in Ireland. And then, of course, we've got Robert Galbraith, a.k.a. J.K. Rowling. So those are written by J.K. Rowling. Then we've got my Robert Crayass books, mystery series set in California. Then we got my John Grisham thrillers, my John Grisham shelf. And then we got my Archer Mayer, Archer Mayer novels. These are mysteries, the Joe Gunther mystery series set up in New Hampshire. And so these last two shelves are just full of random books that I've kind of liked and collected. You know, I, I, maybe I liked the, uh, the one book from the author, but I didn't really. So I just, these are just books that are kind of one-offs, you know, Battlefield Earth, Bonfire of the Vanities, Gone with the Wind, The Godfather, Name of the Rose, Contact, Jonathan Strange and Mr. Noriel. I can't, don't know if you can see back there. They're kind of back in a corner. American God, Stranger in a Strange Land, The Book Thief, A Simple Plan. Some of these, you know, Life of Pi, Cold Mountain. A lot of those are just books that I liked. The one book that the author wrote. Didn't really decide want to care, 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 you know, collect everything. So let's back up. So that is my entire mystery, thriller, historical adventure and Western library tour. As you know, I've also done a video tour of my horror, science fiction, and fantasy over there. And I've also done a tour of my biographies, classic novels, and nonfiction. So I hope you like the tour.